light blue ombre color this is how inside looks it has two clips two wig clips at the front and one at the back with the adjustable straps round and round we go losing self-control i keep telling myself but i don't want to let you know is this what we become strangers on the run looking for something chasing the sun today i'm feeling myself like i'm looking away into the mirror all the like guys i'm sorry but i'm gonna try not to look at myself hey today's wig is from shake and go it is the free choice equal premium deluxe lace front watercolor wig this is what the tag looks like as you can see today guys i have the ashura blue so you know yes i have the azure blue color it only comes with a middle parting it is pretty flat and you do get a good amount of middle parting space all i did was just put my powder and there you go there you have it it's done the name of this wig is evelyn she's 30 inches at first when i wanted a blue wig i wanted a more of a light blue turquoise color which is more of the color of the ends of this wig but honestly when I saw this on the mannequin I kind of liked the ombre effect I liked how it had the dark blue at the roots and when it comes down to the tips it gets lighter I love it I think it adds more than just having a plain color blue wig you know what I'm saying and initially I bought this for like photo shoots if I want to go to any party that I want everybody to be like yo look on the brown and the blue ear you know what I'm saying that's what I got it for so I won't be wearing this a lot for everyday wear I don't think this is going to hold up just looking at it and just playing around with it for the little time that I have I know it will not hold up if you want to wear this a lot it does shed a little bit and it does tangle but not like a lot but once I wear this out, I will definitely see how this holds up with like how messy it looks, how much it tangles, and also sheds. But for right now, ooh, Kristen, stop looking at yourself. Ooh. But for right now, I'm totally loving this wig. It's not really tangling and everything. But as I said, I literally just put it on. She was about $60, maybe like $60, $65. But I'm pretty sure you can get her online somewhere cheaper. I did buy her at my local beauty supply store. And this one was off the mannequin for some reason. I'm always stuck with the ones off the mannequin. Like there's just none left. But you know she is still a beauty. 
This is what she looks like from the back. Let me give you a full 360 view. She reaches me all the way at my butt, guys. The hair looks shiny on camera, but in person, it's not that shiny. So it looks more shiny on camera than it does in person. I will say up here, however, is shiny, but it's not like crazy shiny. And the rest of the hair is like a normal shine. But if you feel like the roots are too shiny for you, you can always put some dry shampoo on it. But it's per perfectly fine for me right now. That is it for this review. If you like this wig and you want more wig reviews and stuff like that, then just let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel to become a part of the case stylers. And don't forget to hit that bell button so you can get notified every time I post a video. I will see you guys in my next one. Don't forget to stay positive and let life surprise you because it will anyway. Anything you want to happen, you better speak that into existence, okay? Just wait on God's timing because he will never let you down, okay? I'll see you guys. Bye!